Hey everybody, Will here. Quick uh, update. Got the JD rigged in Lightwave and then brought into Unity and then I've uh, set the BioIK rig onto it and adjusted all the rotational values for every single joint. Then after I did that I created some uh, goals uh, or end effectors depending on what you like to call them. And uh, I'll show you how those work. So I've got two set up, one for the wrist over here, and this also has a look at applied to it. So his head will look at the end effector. Um, and then there's another one over here. Then we have two down here on the legs. I have the two legs turned off for now because it uh, has a tendency to, the way I rigged it, without any constraints, makes the feet a little floppy and they flop around a little bit. But I uh, will pause the video a little bit later and turn those on so you can see everything kind of moving around. So let's go into game mode. I did manage to figure out how to bring the end effectors into the game mode, so we've got a nice clean interface. Um, but I can grab this guy and he spins around and JD tries to look to see where it is, where to go. It must be behind me, it's in front of me. So uh, that works great. And then I, I can uh, grab this little guy here. Same thing with this arm. Um, He's trying to move it around with that one. And let me pause the video and I'll turn the end effectors on for the feet. Okay, we're back. And now we've got uh, all these different uh, end effectors active. Um, you can see that he looks like he's kind of swimming or doing whatever. Uh, that's because both these end effectors, or all four of these end effectors, are affecting the whole rig. So you can control that by waiting, W-E-I-G-H-T-I-N-G, -I -I waiting um, each one of them, giving them more power. So you can give less power to one, more power to the other, so they affect uh, the whole rig a little less um, crazy like this. Um, but I can move his leg forwards, backwards. Um, can walk, maybe, with a little... Uh, animation rig uh, but yeah he just kinda looks like he's just uh, hanging out we'll take you out of uh, game mode into scene mode so you can see the rig. Um, I'll back out a little bit. There we go. We can see the end effectors. Doing their thing here. And get forward so you don't see the camera rig. Um, so same thing here. And we can also add rotational values for some of the end effectors so they can um, bend Let's move this over. Whoa, hey there. Let's whoop, whoop, back, back out. There we go. I think I lost one of my end effectors for the legs. Um, left leg goal. That's oh, inside the foot. Okay, so you can see this a little bit better as far as. And, and, you know, I don't have a JD, so I don't know what the limits are on the joints. So I guessed at a lot of these, they might be wrong. Um, but you can, but this, this is actually not connected to the feet. This is connected to um, his uh, ankle. Um, the feet themselves actually um, do have a rotational value of about a negative and a positive 30 degrees. But like I said, I think you need to uh, connect a constraint to that so that the constraint will keep the, the, the feet from, keep the feet flat and keep them from rolling. Because when you turn them on, they definitely um, roll like crazy because it's just the end of the IK chain. So, anyways, that is that. I it, it did try to figure out how to do, um, how to create a root goal for his chest so we could just move his chest around and then uh, he could do some pretty cool magical things, but I don't know if this particular rigging system will allow us to do that. The root 
which is usually, usually is the hips on a, a bipedal setup, uh, doesn't exist on uh, G, um, JD. So I couldn't quite figure out how to fit it into the rig. So anyways, this has gone longer than I thought it was going to go. So I'm going to leave here and I will fiddle faddle with it a little bit more, but otherwise I'm going to put it up for you guys to um, download and uh, play around with it and um, see if you have any um, other ideas or oops he looks like he's flying <laughs>